Lights up. Wrong starts the middle. This is your principal, Mr. Gonzalez, bringing you your news for today, Friday, May 31st, 2019. Today is a B day. Scholars, we have something at BAM, and we call it the Middle School Method. And it is to build a solid foundation for middle school and beyond. It consists of the artist process, followed by growth mindset. And after that, we have visual thinking strategies. Beyond the visual thinking strategies, artist palette. And of course, we tie it all together with... Base, the Bronx Art Soaring Scholars, reminding you to always be your best. Attempt school each day, show respect to self and others, and succeed academically. B A S S spells base, and the middle school method helps you persevere, be a positive risk taker, also gives you a polished speaker and writer voice, makes you respectful and kind, and makes you organize. Those are skills you can use for middle school and most definitely beyond. And this whole week we've been talking about the artist process because now at this point of the year, you know what I'm talking about. Now you have been trained as an artist, meaning you know the jargon, the vocabulary, you know all these things that are very specific to your major, be it dance, music, visual arts, or theater. These are the things, these are the processes the process that you use. And you can use that in all of your academics as well. And when you do, that makes you one stellar scholar. But fundamentally, the big, big thing about every single artist process that all of you have in common, despite your majors, is that you must practice, practice, practice. That's it in a nutshell. And that is what separates the good from the bad, and even the good from the okay. Practice, 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 if you can remember one thing. So, artist palettes are also part of that process, and we are reminding you scholars to bring yours every day and make sure it's always filled with paper, pens, and pencils. What else does it take to be a BAM scholar? It takes a lot of it, a lot of it, a little bit of respect. Scholars! How do we communicate? Well, first of all, we're focused, right? To be respectful, you have to do it. It's intentional. It's not something that just happens naturally. And to communicate, these are the good ways to communicate respect. Remember that if you feel heard, even if they disagree, they're listening with respect. It means that you're also communicating with respect. And if you want to show it, well, it all boils down to kindness. That's what respect is all about. Scholars, our three top goals for respect are to respect everyone, respect our school, and respect our space. Remember what each one of those looks like. Here is our call board for our school announcements. We want to congratulate the Bronx Arts Middle Concert Band for their excellent performance last night. Very impressed. I was so very proud of you guys. Really, really good job. Thank you, Mr. Fitch and all of the musicians. Reminder to, your, to you about your school IDs. You may not decorate or deface the school ID. If yours is found to have been damaged or defaced, then you must replace it and it's at your disposal the cost. We will not cover the cost of replacement. The Wizard of Oz is going to be performing June 11, 2019, 6.30 p.m. at the Lehman Stages. Make sure that you invite everyone here, right here. Do you see that there? R dot show forward slash BAMS hyphen wizard. That right there is going to take you where you need to be to get your tickets. So invite one, invite all to see our wonderful first production. Invite your Aunt Myrna, your Theo Kuko. Well, maybe not him. You know, every family has that weird Theo. Maybe he's not the one to invite. I don't know. Anyway, but invite everyone, everyone to see the great job that you're going to do on June 11th for The Wizard of Oz. I know I'm excited. And scholars, please put up those chairs before you go. I think that's it for me. Just want to remind you, you can't start without art. Gonzalez out.